Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel users. This is useful for users of Excel 2007, 2010 and 2013. You'll obviously know that Microsoft have dumped all the menus and toolbars and replaced them with the ribbon, which is basically a tabbed toolbar. And one of the problems with this ribbon is that similar commands that you would normally expect to see on the toolbars are no longer visible. An obvious one is File Open. So to open a file at the moment, you click on File tab and click on the Open option. Uh, you'll also find Save, Save As. So effectively, the File tab is now what used to be the File menu. If you're in 2007, of course, you have the Office button, which basically does the same thing as the File tab in Excel 2010. So let's just go back to the Home tab for now. And Microsoft have compensated a little bit by introducing this thing called a Quick Access Toolbar at the very top of the screen. And that does have a few default buttons on it. We've got Save, we have Undo and Redo. Not very exciting. So we need to modify it and maybe add a few useful buttons. Now just to the right of that little toolbar is a down arrow. And if you click on that, it opens up a set of options where you can choose some new buttons. And on the list we have new, open, email, quick print, print preview and print, and so on. Some of these obviously will find hidden away on the tabs, but if you want them on the quick access toolbar, you simply select them from this list. I'm going to add a few of these, so I'm going to select new, click the arrow again, choose open. Click the arrow again and I will have the print preview option as well. Now if you don't like the position of the buttons you can also reorganize those. If I click the drop down again, come down to more commands, there's a few things we can do here. We can reorganize the buttons so if I want the new button to be first I simply select it in the list there and choose the up arrow. I can also maybe move open to be the second one and I can maybe move the print preview so it's the third one and save is fourth, undo and redo, fifth and sixth. Now on the left here you'll see we have a huge list of options. There's popular commands if I click the drop down there you have access to all the existing tabs and a few others as well. So just for now I'm going to leave the popular commands there and let's say we might want to add paste special which might be useful and click on the add button and that'll pop it into a location on the right. Now if it's in the wrong location as I said before you can use the up and down arrows to relocate it if you want to. I'm going to put that to the bottom of the list there. So then I can simply click OK and there we have the new options on the quick access toolbar. If you would prefer the toolbar below the ribbon then you can do that by clicking the drop down arrow again and go to the bottom of that list and click on show below ribbon and then all your quick access options appear a bit nearer to the spreadsheet. Just for now I'm going to move it back though because I prefer it back at the top. Now if you've added lots of options on there and you change your mind you can go back and reset the quick access toolbar. Again come to more commands on the drop down menu there. On the customization section you've got the reset button here and if I click on the drop down you see I've got the option to reset all the customizations. Be careful there if you've modified any of your tabs it'll reset those. Here I'm just going to reset only the quick access toolbar. As soon as I do that I get a warning if I say yes now and you'll see there it's reset to just the three original options which just for now I will leave. So there's a few tips on how to modify that quick access toolbar and possibly improve the way you work with Excel. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time.